This is a 2011 Fiesta with a 1.6 diesel engine. The car will crank and it won't start. I've got P0336, crankshaft position, sensor A, circuit range performance. The car's making no attempt to start but it'll crank okay. Okay, so here this, the spacings are closer together and they're further apart. So that's like one of the real crank notches. That one shouldn't be there, I think. We're going back to that one and that one. They look the same. Some of these might be fake ones, like a bit of damage to the ring. So if we zoom in... There's that one, kind of, I think that's a real one there, they look equal. Here is similar to the top, this one's kind of got a big chunk missing. And that one's similar, the bottom and the top pieces are similar, so I think this one's actually the faulty one, the big one in the middle. I think somewhere there's going to be a bit missing on the ring. And you see the spaces look different closer together there. That's just because by the wider apart the engine's slowing down so that'll be one of the compressions and then that's off the compression. That's all that is. But the main thing is the ones, it should look like that. It should be down and up with equal spaces. This is the bit that shouldn't be there. It's just missing a tooth. So that's the hand tick showing this one quite well. I'll show you which hand tech it is that I'm using. It's a hand tech and this is the 6204BE. I did the job well. You could see the fault without stripping it down. This is the pulley from the crankshaft at the bottom of the car would face that way. There's the dot. At the, top, at the top of it would be on the car when, when you time it. There's no damage that you can see anywhere on there. But I'm going to check it with the ring and if there's anything. Use one of these. If I can find anything, I'll show it to you. You can see the teeth that are meant to be there, the magnets. And that bit. It's definitely got a bit missing there. It's hard doing this with one hand. See that bit? So that could be the bit that's supposed to be there. We'll keep looking and look for other bits of damage. There we go. I've got this bent around it to show it better, the teeth. And here's the damaged bit. It's not damage caused by anybody, it's just worn out. You can see the teeth are almost there. And that's the bit that we were seeing that was actually wider than the, the bit that should be there. So that's what's causing it. It doesn't know where TDC is. It's getting a, a false signal from this bit. If I take that away, there's absolutely no damage that you would have seen. There's nothing happened to it. It's just how it is. It's just worn, causing the car to not start. Here's a shot of where we were back probed in the crank sensor. On the timing belt end of the car, the timing belt now has been removed, so the pulley could be took off and checked with the card, and it is indeed faulty. So there's going to be a new pulley to start this car. Now it's working fine, I'm going to stop this, we can have a look at it. It's all good though, as you see it runs. Now we've only got the one pattern that we wanted to see. Much better image on here. Equal sizes at the bottom to the top. If we zoom in a bit, see it's equal along the bottom to the top, like the other one was just missing a tooth. So that's good. Success. Trying to do it without a scope would have been very hard. It doesn't matter what scope you've got, this hand tech was fine. Anything's better than nothing. Thanks for watching.